For sure. The, I mean, life still has ups and downs. It's not going to be, I'm not going to be ecstatic every day and I'm still going through hardships and growing as a person. So, but generally, yeah, thanks for your question. Um, New York Stiletto asked, have you been taking your medication properly? How does it work? Do you go to doctors to get prescriptions? So thank you for your question. Um, so it's, no, it's a bit different here. I think some prescriptions require, I think some medications require prescriptions, I should say. But honestly, the medications I need, my inhaler, which by the way, takes Simbacort, um inhaler for my asthma. And I have recently restarted. I actually came off of the anti, I'm on and off about antidepressants, but I have to realize I need them. Like I just restarted them actually yesterday. So um, I literally, Salah will go into a pharmacy, any pharmacy here and just say what I need. Like I said, I need Cyprolex, 10 milligrams, for example. And you get your medication. It's as simple as that. Um, I'm surprised, but the pharmacist is very knowledgeable and will go through a lot of details, side effects, blah, 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 all that stuff, you know? So they're almost like a doctor. Um, they really find what you need, but yeah, it, it's super affordable. It's like the name brand Cyprolex in Canada was like $80 or something like that. Here it's like 4KD, like, or something, or like maybe, I think it was like 8KD, I think Salah said, like maybe. So yeah, like not very expensive, like 30 something. I don't know. But yeah, so really not expensive at all. Um, so different, so different. And you can just walk into a pharmacy if they have it. And it's not something that's on their like controlled substance list. You know, I guess depression is pretty common, um, more common than I thought. So um, therapy is very, very, very pricey, but they do have a psychiatric hospital here. But um, these pills, I think will, once I'm back on them, I honestly, that's why I'm kind of, I feel tired when I first get back on them and, you know, it gets into my system again. But I have to, now that I have cheap, easy access to them, I am just going to stay on them because, you know, I'll do 10 milligrams until I start to feel they're not working anymore. And then honestly, when I, I would go for follow-up, they would just ask me the same basic questions the pharmacist would ask, you know, like, um, how do you feel, blah, 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 like little things like that that anyone can ask, you know, so <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Very, very happy. I need my medication. Like I'm, um, if I'm not on it, it's like night and day for me. You can really tell, like, I just, uh, oh, man, my mood swings are so crazy. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's so hard for me to control my emotions. I'm working on it, but it's very hard. This is childproof too, help me.